Chris, the pH is about 7.4 right on top. And of course, up in the shallow water, I can't drop it down very deep. To see if there's any brake line, we won't be concerned about that right now. Looks like your colors are blue, purple, chartreuse, and the stained. It's about halfway between stained and clear right here. Gold, orange, silver, and the clear band. Water temperature about 79 degrees. That rain will hold off. Chris and I are on Lake Sam Rayburn, Texas today, and we're getting ready for the BASS Top 100 tournament. We've got two days to practice, today and tomorrow, and as you can see, we've got flooded conditions. What we hope to be able to do is find these fish up in real shallow water, be able to catch them maybe on spinner baits, maybe on uh, some things like Zara spooks, long ace, top water. Uh, we'd probably be flipping, probably be throwing some jigs, maybe some hot spots. Uh, I don't know what we're going to catch them on. But uh, I like old Rayburn when it's up in these bushes, don't you, Chris? Yeah, I do. It's hard to figure out what to throw, though. It's not just in the bushes today. It's clear up in the top of the sycamore trees. <laughs> There's one. Okay. Got him. Did you put your hot spot on? Nope. Still got the worm. Worm? That's a pretty nice little fish. Had a keeper? I don't much think so. Hatch, you didn't think that one I caught a minute ago was either. <laughs> was he? Pretty good fish, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. He no. Four. Yeah, he's 14 inches. Yeah, maybe he is. Yeah, he's 14 inches. Worm, huh? What, what, what color worm? Meant? Little old um, June bug. June bug. Little culprit. Yeah, he's a 14 inch. Not inch-er. much over though. That's please. about all he is. Is 14. There he is. Hot spot. Yeah, up there in that. Caught him out there in that, out there in that deep grass. Is he a keeper? No, I don't think so. I think it's just a small one. He's strong, though. Yeah, just a little one. Boy, he's fat, isn't he? Uh -huh. One thing about Sam Rayburn bass, they're always fat. You know, I laid that worm down. I didn't throw that spot out there twice till I caught that fish. They need to be considerably bigger than that to count in this about tournament. About twice that big. Huh? About twice that big. Well, doggies, you don't have to be quite twice that big. What Chris and I try to do out here when we're fishing a tournament is we're trying to do two things. One is we're trying to eliminate water. The other thing we're trying to do is to set a pattern. And uh, we're eliminating a lot of water, so we're doing right now, honey. Right. But uh, one of the things that, that we're doing, when you got a lake that's flooded like this, it's very difficult. This time of the year, the first week in June, normally we would just get out in that grass and stay out in that deeper grass. But we tried that quite a little bit, and in all honesty, we haven't caught anything but small fish out there. Now, I know you can catch some large fish out there, but about all we've been catching out there is little ones. And uh, so we've been having to hit these bushes and and we've tried the tail ends, we've tried going up and down the sides, and right now we're running windy points, trying to just fish these windy points. Develop a pattern and eliminate water. We're not really having a lot of success, but uh, <laughs> she gets her line around me, I'll give her a bite. But uh, it's about all you can do under this kind of situation. You just keep hunting and looking, hunting and looking, and covering as much water as we possibly can. There he is, Chris. Got him? Yeah, right under the boat. Right straight down. Not a giant, but just a keeper. The kind you're thankful to get. Huh? The kind you're thankful to get in a tournament. I guarantee you'll be thankful to get them tomorrow if they're as hard as they've been today. Well, we haven't set the woods on fire at all, I guarantee you. We was hoping to show you Sam Rayburn at its finest down here in June, but it just hadn't worked out that way at all. We've caught fish on worms, fish on topwater, fish on spinner baits, and fish on hot spots, and we don't have a pattern. That's the worst thing, is we don't really have a pattern. We don't have a way to... Ah, I got one. We might have a point that's got some fish on it right here, though. How big is that one, honey? I don't know. Another keeper? Well, I certainly would hope so. That's pretty good, isn't he? Anyway, doesn't he? Might be one of those whiskered fish or something. 
A whisker fish? I don't think it's a bass. Oh, come it is. on. Get up here and let's see what it is. I don't think it's a bass. If it is, uh, he's a big I hope it is. If it is, I'm going to be at sick. No you caught him on my point because I was going to come back and catch it here tomorrow. <laughs> I need to try to back away from these little trees here. Ooh, good night. Did you see him? <laughs> yes, I saw him. How big is he? He's big. <laughs> <laughs> big drum? I don't know. Yeah, Cat that's a fish, big flathead. flathead. Holy cow. That's a 30 or 40 pound flathead. What do we do now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're going to land him. I'm going to tell you. We're we going to land him. Y'all got a dip net over there? Bring that dude over here. She got a big flathead. We'll try to land him. Boy, she's got a fish on her that big. <laughs> I mean, it's that big. <laughs> I see you dipping it in. I don't know if he'll fit in that dip net. <laughs> we'll get him started in there anyway. She had him up there a minute ago. <laughs> I think it's about worn the reel out. I don't see how your arms is holding there. <laughs> He's a big fish. Oh my God. I mean a big fish. <laughs> there he goes again. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that fish. No, it's a flathead. If he'd have had his head, I gotta get his head going in there. If he'd have had his head around this way, I could have got him in. Here he comes. Here he comes. You got him. He got his head going the right way. I got him. I got him. Holy cow! Golly! That's a forty or fifty pound fish. Holy cow! What a fish! No, I'm trying to pick him up, her. Holy cow! That's probably a 50-pound fish. Yeah! There you are, honey. I don't want it. Chris, you won the you won the top 100 tournament all in one cast right there. What about that, Bill? I just said that we were having trouble catching and finding big fish, so Chris just found a big fish. If you're wondering where the flathead are on Lake Sam Rayburn in the month of June, they're in the willow bushes. And a bait to catch them on, a little old plastic worm, and a four-op true turn hook. What are you going to do with him? Oh, my live wheel. I'm going to put him in a live wheel and go away. I don't think he'll fit. Oh, my live wheel. He'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to the thousands of you that subscribe to our new YouTube channel that we started back in the end of February. It is so exciting to be doing all these videos for y'all and sharing 75 years of bass fishing knowledge. It's just absolutely a thrill for us to do that. If you're not subscribed to the Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube channel, go in there, type in Jimmy Houston Outdoors, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Pick out two or three videos that you really like, send them to eight or 10 of your friends, get them on here too, and let's have a lot of fun. The more subscribers we've got, the more videos we can do. See you later, guys and girls.